in this video we talk about the uh, instance variables and methods uh, even though we touch up a little bit on methods before but I would uh, like to explain more so we have made a class in the uh, previous video which is the blueprint and we have created an instance of that class which is the object the class is the bank account and the object is Johnson account remember the Johnson account from last video cool now let's talk about instance variables we spoke about the uniqueness of each object for example if we make 500 bank accounts each one of these accounts we have unique identifiers such as name of the account owner the bank account number the source code etc same thing with object um, with car object if you have a different car object the color the engine number the the plate or registration number it, all of them will be different and unique to each of the objects. These unique variables that are given to an object are called instance variables. So when you have any object, the object we have is own variables, which are, well, we, we call them variable because they vary during the lifetime of the object. So um, just like as a person, you have, you have a unique variable, just like your eye color, your your height, your weight and stuff that identifies you so your name your date of birth so if somebody take your name your date of birth and your um, national insurance number I forgot what they call it in the United States those things that can uniquely identify you so those are the kind of variables that you want to give to any object and each person is an object as well because uh, um, anyway then let us go too deep let's use our bank account class uh, as well we may want to give each new account uh, each new account object three unique information whenever we create the account so at the, at the creation of the account we want to give the account the account name account number and the opening balance during the creation of our new class we will declare this as instance variables in the class declaration so if we look at the class declaration here let's look at the class declaration here you can see that we have two just two variables here which is the account number and the account balance so these two are called the instance variables so whenever you want to create a program you as a programmer in your head you have to think what are the variables that I need for example you want to create a a person program and I can't I mean a program to create human being what are the unique variables that you need for the uh, for the object for example you may need the person's height the person's weight the person's eye color the person hair color and so on and so forth so these are the instance variables so let's return back to um, also we need methods to work with our class always remember that a class contains instant variables and methods some of the methods we need on bank accounts are get balance so we need the a, a method to actually give us the balance of the account we need a method to actually use to credit the account we need a method to actually withdraw money we need a, mon a method to transfer money between accounts and so on and so forth these methods perform a specific action on the account applying a method to an object changes the state of that object and I want you to think about that for a minute for example this is a method if we apply this method credit account to an object Johnson account remember we have an, a, an object called Johnson account if we apply this method credit account to that object we are changing it because we're crediting money into the account so that means the state of the object will change maybe he has a thousand then now he has a thousand one thousand five hundred pounds in the account if we apply the get balance it will still change the state of the because it's going to return the account. We draw money, we change the state, transfer money, we uh, change the state. Um, the get balance may not change the state of the object, but it's just going to return the balance to you. So um, applying methods to an object changes the state of, of the object. This is how you apply methods to objects in Objective C. So this is the method for applying. This is the uh, the the way you apply method to an object. So you put the object name, for example. Uh, Johnson account then you put the method name so for example credit account same thing with class because you can apply a method to a class as well and you might think really okay now let me show you how we've applied a method to a class because sometimes this is why I say this thing will make as you can see a bank account here is a class and alloc is a method so we have applied a method to a to a class so don't worry about uh, 
this one for now we're still going to explain about uh, methods that can be applied to class you might be wondering even though we didn't write this alloc and init method where do we get them from we got them from here remember when I say bank account and I put a color on a CNS object we are actually uh, extending our bank account from a, a, a root file called and don't worry we're still going to talk more about inheritance in the future videos but this is where we get, the, get that from so let's return back to this so basically in the programming language we said receiver is the object of the class and the message is the method that we're sending so we're sending a message to the receiver so we are saying here Johnson get balance so the get balance method is called the message that we're sending to this object so this object is called the receiver same thing here we want to create an account with two thousand pounds we're sending that message to Johnson account object we want to withdraw 45 pounds from this Johnson account and we're sending that message to Johnson account and so on and so forth and everything will be uh, clear so this is how I've used that in my programming as you can see at the bottom here I am saying new account set account number so I'm setting the account number I'm setting the account balance this is how you sent method and finally here this one is a method called details which you can see at the top here what it does the details method here all it does is just print out the account number and print out the account balance as you can see using the NS log and I call that at the bottom here by using this simple way to call methods I mean to yeah to call method uh, by an object you just put it in a, a square bracket and that's how you call method so everything will become clear just bear with me and we uh, continue in the next video. Thank you.